Pauly Jr. here, and welcome back to Valheim. Eh, uh, they've got a cave troll. Well, some kind of troll. I guess he's a cave troll. They live in caves. I have found their caves. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one right here is outside of his cave, outside of my tower. Um, he's, he's picking berries. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't reach down and grab me. <laughs> uh, you chase me in here, and then I've, I've kind of been squatting down hiding. And he sort of lost track of me, but he's not moving, and I want him to go. Um, and I don't think he's leaving. So, yeah, I've got a boat right here, right outside the shelter on the river. I made a new uh, little longboat thingy, <laughs> and I've been sailing around. This is actually a, a different map now, a different world. This is my private server that I'm playing with uh, with some friends. And our town's down here, and I'm currently all the way up here looking for copper um, on my new boat. And I got stuck in this tower, and that's how things stand, and I decided to record it in case this is the end for me. And you'll know how I died. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the sun to come up, and then I'll make a run for the boat and try to uh, sail down the river before this guy catches me. He doesn't seem to be moving. Oh boy. Well, that was close. That was close. I'm wearing troll hide armor, a full suit, which gives me a 25% sneaky bonus if you have the whole ensemble, which is kind of ironic since I'm hiding from a troll with skin of his, his cousins. Sun should be coming up any time now, I think. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get a fire going in here to warm up because I think I'll get smoke inhalation. Not sure if that uh, ventilation up there is going to work properly. <laughs> so anyway, let's have a look at my character here. Like I said, I started up a new character, a new... It's not a new server. I'm in the Bronze Age at this point so far. I got a couple of bronze weapons. Well, bronze axe, which is also for chopping down trees. Bronze sword. And I got my troll hide suit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, friend. And again, I'm just out here looking for more copper to get more bronze and get into bronze armor and that's about where it stands currently oh boy he's mad about something oh day 131 it's now day all right we're not cold anymore that means we won't have the cold sapping our energy and i think what i might do is hit my ekater um skill although no i guess i don't need that i don't think i need that I mean, we could try fighting him, running around and shooting with my arrows. It's just not worth it. I mean, you get troll hide, but I don't really need troll hide. I wonder if I can just sneak out. Um, I'm going to switch to my sword and shield. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he's going anywhere. I'm gonna open the door. And sort of just scurry out without him noticing. Let's see if we can do this. Oh yeah, he's right there. <laughs> looking inside, looking for the little man. <laughs> little man's leaving now. <laughs> Goodbye, troll. <laughs> God, I love this game. It's so good. It is so good. I wasn't actually going to be recording anymore. But um, I thought this would be a good opportunity to make at least one episode. And discuss the future plans. Oh gosh, there's a rock right there. And a, and a, a log in the water. Um, can we back up a little bit? Sure. I'm relatively new with this boat. So I'm not exactly sure how to drive it so much. It's a little bit tricky. Oh, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, now we gotta go forward. Forward! Forward march! There's no wind. Well, the wind is against us right now. That's not cool. I want to go this way down the river. The way we're pointing to get to some copper. Copper's right here, in fact. Uh, I love this boat. It has a little bit of storage space. Not much. It's literally about the size of my kayak. <laughs> when I go on kayaking trips, it is extremely small, and it's hard to get stuff in your kayak. You spend nights out on the islands, and, man, you just can't bring a whole heck of a lot. Is the troll still there? Uh, oh, yeah, he's still there. Now he could get us, because he's going to be a heck of a lot faster than us on this boat. Maybe we should just turn around and go the other way. 
Uh, <laughs> that might be a better idea. He will smash this boat. Let, let's turn around. I'm not going to take any chances with this boat. It was too expensive to make, and I don't want to I don't wanna lose it. Oh, no, 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 bad. Forward. Okay, we don't want the sail down right now. We just want to paddle. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Paddle on the left. Paddle on the left hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's still there looking for the little man. Oh, we got the wind now. Okay, wind is up. And we can go. Goodbye, friend. I wish this thing had a horn. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. So I got a little copper in here, but not enough. I might just park it somewhere nearby and then just walk through the woods and carry the copper that way. I was just trying to get it closer to the copper, but I can I can manage. There's a bunch of tin here. But we have a ton of tin back at back at our base camp. So yeah, I'm playing this server on the server with my friends. Um, just started up a little private server. I'm thinking about providing a server for my Oh, there's a boat! Shipwreck! He's good. Might be a chest there. Unless somebody else already got it. Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing a, uh, a Patreon server for my patrons. Alright, you know what? Let's park it. Oh, gosh darn you. Look at this little guy. Alright, step in the gas. I'm gonna throw rocks at my boat. Hey! Dude! Just got a painted man. <laughs> I don't think he can swim as fast as the boat can float. I'm going to park it over here and go get my copper. Oh boy, it's actually pretty far, isn't it? All right, this looks like a fine spot. Let's park right here. Stop. Stop. Sails up. Let's go shoot this stinker. And we'll just bring the copper back to us. Where is he? Oh, you're not getting away. You don't just hit my boat with a rock, bro, and then disappear. Oh, it's turning around. Okay, very good. Well, I want to make one more run to the copper. It's not too far. It looks far on the map, but it's really not that far. Oh, someone's coming. Hi. Oh, you little... Oh, I don't want to use my flaming arrows on these guys. Eh, dang it. Come on. Bring it. Switch back to my regular arrows. Oh, look who it is. It's our friend the troll. And he looks agitated. He doesn't see me, does he? I don't think so. But now he's coming across the river. See, he would have wrecked that boat had he seen us. He can stand up in that river. <laughs> it's not that deep. All right, I'm just going to go around him, go grab some copper, load up the boat, and head back home. And I'll show you my uh our little town a little budding viking village which isn't much but it's home and then we'll talk about maybe the future of valheim on the channel oh gosh hopefully it doesn't go toward my boat because they will destroy it maybe i should have put it out in the water a little bit farther i think they just attack it if they see it oh there's a bitey i could use the feathers all right almost done here i can only carry so much and i'm getting close to full capacity 271 out of 300 so a few more bits the stuff is super heavy we're at 293 i think that's about right okay and it is starting to get dark anyway so it's time to vacate the area get on the boat let's repair that up and just sit by the campfire for a second nope sit sit down on your butt there you go Make sure there's some fuel on the fire. Sure is. And then we're going to get the resting bonus. And that'll allow our stamina to come back a little bit faster. But yeah, all you need is a campfire and sit out, sit down. And you get that buff, which is super nice. And then we'll make a run for the boat. Hopefully it's still there. I left it... Uh, well, that's where I left it previously. I think it's right over here somewhere. We're in that peninsula, right? And then we'll head back home. We can go back down this river and out, or maybe sail around. I think this might be ocean here. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, check out the coastline on the way back. We do have a mining operation over here, so maybe we can make for that if the wind 
is favorable. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. How many arrows do I have? 51. That's enough. All right. Let's toss back. Oh, can't eat that. Eat a tail. And uh, let's throw, I guess, a berry in. All right. Bow to fall. Okay. Meet you back at the boat. Take the scenic route through the meadows. It's a little safer. <laughs> Plus, we have a nice wide angle view up here. Up on top of this little hill to see where that troll is. He was over here and he was heading in this direction. I don't see him right now. Hold on. Let's stop looking. Listen. It's always a good idea. They do make a lot of noise. So you can usually hear them before you. There he is. Whoa, I'm sliding. Sliding right toward him. Fantastic. Yeah, there he is. All right. I think we can just slip right by. I wanted to grab those blueberries, though. Love me some blueberries, and it's good for making jam. I haven't made any jam yet, but we have a new pot. Well, the pot's at the mining operation building, but I think I'm going to make a new pot when we get back home. Cook up some jam and some carrot soup. I just started to get into farming. I made a cultivator, which is like a hoe of some kind. And I got a little farm going, a few carrots. So, yeah, making progress. It's very slow. I don't really have a whole lot of time to play the game. Although I have been spending a lot of time in the game. <laughs> it is really, really good. <laughs> I love the building, too. It's just so forgiving. You know, you get all of your materials back. If you screw something up, you just break it down quick and you get it back. I think every game can take lessons from this game. Every future survival sandbox building game can learn a lot from, from Valheim in that respect. Building should be very easy. If you break this down, you get fine wood, by the way. If you don't um, have a bronze axe to get fine wood. I'm not even going to kill that guy. I don't need him. Um, yeah, because fine wood you get from... Carry too much, am I? Drop the rocks. Uh, fine wood you get from birch, right? Pretty sure that's how it works. All right, where's my dang boat? Right there. Yeah, but you need bronze. Oh, here's some tin. Uh, should we get it? Don't really have the time. It's starting to get dark. Uh, but you need bronze to chop down birch trees. There we go. Oh, it's full stack. See how heavy that stuff is? Wowzers. Okay, let's set sail. Let's see how the water, uh, how the wind is. It's, that one's no wind. So it, it ain't favorable at all. Let's just paddle right out of here. Oh, oh, wind's up. Wind's up. Now we're going to attack. We're going to attack this way. We're going to attack right around those rocks in front of us. Let's scroll out. It's a heck of a lot easier to sail when you can see all around you. We don't want to smash into any boats. Uh, boats? Rocks? <laughs> or boats? <laughs> Not a busy day out here today, so I don't think we'll hit any boats. Um, I know there's sea serpents and stuff in this game. I haven't seen one yet. Hopefully we don't run into one. I'm not going out to the sea. We're going to hug the coastline right here. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping this just goes straight down here. I guess we'll find out. That's what being a Viking is all about. Exploring and sailing and finding new lands and stuff. And the wind is now dead. Yeah, great. Ain't going anywhere. I think our adventure is over. <laughs> oh, is this a river? Looks like we might have another river here. Yes, we can pass right through. Is that? That's not snow. It's just... What is that? Nothing. It's just dust. Pollen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we're dead in the water, as they say. And there's a little fella over there. Hopefully he doesn't see us. I can just get out and shoot. You can stand up in the boat and use your hands, which is nice. Let me get that sail up, and I'll just paddle. Rowing down the river. Oh boy, exciting. Yep, it's a river, all right. Check it out. Maybe it'll go all the way through. We'll pop out over there in our bay by our seaside Viking resort. I don't like traveling rivers through uh, the Black Forest, though, because those trolls can walk out here in the water. As long as we're moving, we seem to be moving okay. 
troll will smash this boat in a couple of whacks, I think. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of tin, but I'm not going to get out and get it. Like I said, I got plenty of tin back in. Oh, there's a troll. I, I told you. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got some wind. It's, it's sort of to the rear. Let's step on the gas. Go, gas, go. Here he comes. Is he coming? Nah, he's going the other way. Darn it. I was hoping for a, uh, a good a good flight scene. A good chase scene like um, Jurassic. Whoa, watch out, Rock. Okay, this thing is just, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right, let's get that wind going again. No troll. He doesn't see anything. You don't see anything, troll. Bye-bye. It was looking right at us. <laughs> I don't feel rested anymore. This is not very restful. Doesn't surprise me. All right. Don't worry. I'm a professional on rivers. I've done this before. Many times. Uh, with a kayak. Not a sailboat. It's a little trickier with a sailboat. I'm learning. This is my first time as a Viking on a Viking ship. Oh my gosh. Alright, so you can't over overcompensate. That's the problem. Small little baby steps. I think that's how you do it. Little baby steps. And I gotta eat. Have a chicken pop. Alright, I don't see any trolls around. That's good. Hopefully this just pops out in the ocean. Oh, there's a troll. Should have kept my mouth shut. Why do they look? They love hanging around the rivers and there's some rocks right there, of course. Oh gosh, well, stop! Stop, 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 stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is bad! Stop, 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 stop! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back it up! Great. Great. Back up, paddle back, paddle back. Against the wind. Oh my. Oh my. Those rocks right in the middle of the river are gonna pose a problem. I'm wondering if I should get out and try to draw him away. Oh, there he goes. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. No, no. Okay, we got a shaman. Shaman, shaman. Go. We just got to go. We got the wind. We got favorable wind. We're going for it. I'm going to get right past these rocks, hopefully. Oh, my gosh. This is, this is going to be so scary, guys. Hold on. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Okay. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Turn to the left. Go. Bye, troll, and everybody. Nice to see ya. <laughs> okay, I hear it. the ground is shaking. I feel the ground shaking. I think we lost him. If we could just keep this thing straight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so bad. This. He's in the river. <laughs> we did it. That was fun. Love this game. Man, that was exciting. Okay, now if we could just get this thing straight again. Oh, these guys are bathing. It's, it's bath day. Must be bath day. Hey, dude, I will shoot you. All right, we're good, I think. I will check the map once we get out here in a safe area. Okay, yeah, all we got to do is go pretty much south right back home. So let's put down that sail and really crank it. I don't think I have to worry about rocks and stuff out here anymore. Hopefully we're not in, like, sea serpent territory because it looks super dark and scary over there under the water. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, watch out, rock. All right, I'm gonna I'm dropping the sail all the way. I'm gonna we're gonna kick it in high gear, man. Turbo. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Woohoo! Let's get a torch out. Oh, that's sick, guys. This is amazing. I love this game. It's so great. Woohoo! <laughs> With the music playing in the background, this is amazing. Look at the stars up in the sky and that big tree thing. Yggdrasil or something. Oh gosh, that's rocks. I gotta go around. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't want to go sideways on the swells, dude. Oh, there's my friend's uh, headstone over here. <laughs> yeah, he crashed and died, I think. Right here. Mighty Rob. Yeah, Mighty Rob. Poor Mighty Rob. There's nothing in there. My son already checked just to Soiled tunic, I think. All right, I'm seeing man-made structures here. That's uh, one of my buddy's houses here on an island. Whoa, okay, I missed. This is me over here. That's my son's house over there. He's also on an island. I'm over here. 
Oh gosh, I missed. Yeah, I'm behind this uh, this palisade. Okay, there's there's my house. There's my dock. This would have been way more impressive had we sailed right in at full speed and then slammed on the brakes right at my my dock. Uh, we're gonna hit the dock. That's fine. Barely a scratch, Honor. All right, get out. And I think I think she'll stay right here, right? Don't move. Don't move. Okay, now we can unload. Let's open it up. Grab some of that copper. I'm gonna grab all of it. Oh, gosh, no. Alright, I can take a little bit at a time here and then unload. Let me show you my house. Put that torch down. Don't want to set it on fire. Drop the sword. We're safe here. It's a safe, it's a safe space. I left the back door open. Uh, we have any meat to cook? We do not. Yeah, so this is it. This is my, um, my home sweet home. My seaside resort, as I call it. <laughs> So it's all surrounded in the palisades here. It's all the way underneath. There's a little door underneath to get uh, out to the beach if I want. Got my little setup over here, for forging and everything. In fact, why don't we just get this going? Let's throw a bunch of copper in there. Ten, and we got plenty of coal. Oh yeah, twenty coal, and we have some wood in here. I'm gonna make more. Oh yeah, look at this baby. All set up. Keep it cranking. So this just spits out coal one at a time and then you put the ore over here to the smelter coal on this side and it just kind of does its thing right pretty cool we got more wood stacks out here these are piles of 50 a piece uh, there's a rock pile over here to another 50 somewhere around here uh, but I put it yeah, right there oh there we go got our first copper bar nice I'll pick that up and chuck it in here real quick Right, let's go inside and have a peek. What oh, was my little cart? These carts are amazing. I have had some crazy adventures with this cart right here. <laughs> I've traveled all around here in the cart. I've seen it roll down hills. I've got stuck in the water, uh, in rivers, crossing rivers. It's um, it's quite fun, and maybe we'll see that in the future. Let's just fix up my comp, my bronze stuff here. Fix that up. All right, and now let's, um, well, let me get organized real quick here, and then uh, I'll give you the tour. Just got to put some stuff away. I just got organized, and I'm kind of getting used to where I put everything because I don't remember. Let's go take a walk. Let's go take a walk. So this is uh, my little front. I had this here before I had the wall all the way around just to protect the, uh, the front door. Um, Polyheim's pad. <laughs> And then I made this fence all the way around. And there's a gate here to get out from underneath. Okay, let's crank up those fires. Man, they go out they go out after a couple of hours. Just throw some resin in there and get them cranking up. So this is the yard. Got a friend over there. Friend over here. Friend over there. We got one portal in our little portal chamber that goes to our mining operation. Far, far, far away over here. Right? Um, but let's go out the front gate here. Whee. All right, so yeah, here's our portal. It goes to our mining up. All right, let's go do some quick um, farming. Here's the carrots. It seems like something was eating our carrots. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and put those back in the ground. And we'll come back and get carrots. Apparently, we can make carrot soup. And if you make carrot soup, you learn a recipe to make seeds. Otherwise, you don't get seeds when you pluck carrots, which is kind of weird. But that's the only way to get them. Yeah, so I put the fence around here to keep the critters out, because I think something was eating them. Probably the deers and the boars. All right, let's grab some of this wood. Come back here. Whoa! Log rolling is a thing, by the way. We have competitions here on the server. It's, uh, it's a very dangerous sport. We've lost many a good Viking to log rolling. <laughs> and also kart racing. Yeah, it's a whole lot of fun. So, like I said, I'm thinking about maybe setting up a server for my patrons. And if that is a thing, if I do it, I will definitely make a video and share it here. So you guys can check it out. And uh, possibly get on the server. But today I just thought it would be fun to make a quick video and uh, share it with you, especially since I was in that predicament with the troll. That just seemed like a good, fun thing to share. 
Again, in case I died, <laughs> I thought maybe that was the end. And nobody would even know where I was or how I died. He's next, they're good eating. They're good eating, they just don't always drop tails, which is kind of a shame. Well, let's head back and check on the copper. Oh, this boat seems to be moving. Let's bring it up a little closer. All right, there we go. Look at that parking job. It's perfect. Whoop, a little bit forward. And then stick it in uh, park. It definitely needs a park mode or maybe a rope to tie it up or something. Because it tends to move around a little bit. That's fine. I think that's fine. All right, let's throw some more copper on here. How much do we have left? Three. Grab that and the coal. I don't know if there's a way to automate this. Maybe. I'm not really sure. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. Still plenty to learn about this game. I've barely scratched the surface. See, like I said, plenty of tin. Not too worried about the tin. We did a tin run last night. Me and a couple of friends. We had 90, 90 tin ore loaded up on the cart. And we I dragged it back from over here all the way over here <laughs> and this is a very very steep mountain area it was quite comical all right well all the copper is now in the smelter i'm just waiting for it to complete should do it and i think in the meantime i'm gonna head back indoors because it's rainy and cold out there i'm gonna sit right here by the fire and dry off ah <sighs> i need a stool or something or a nice comfy chair I do have a deer skin rug. That's not so bad. And you dry off super fast by these fires. It's fantastic. So, yeah, I think we're going to call it quits for right now, my friends. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I just wanted to capture today's adventure. I thought it was a, a good one to get on film. Doesn't get much better than this. Sitting by the fire in your longhouse, listening to the smelter spit out your copper. <laughs> It's glorious. It's glorious. All right, let's say goodbye. Can I wave? Uh, nope, not while you're sitting. Anyway, it was worth a shot. All right, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.